Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at new changes that are coming to the AZ-204 Developing Solutions for Microsoft Azure exam. So if you're studying for this exam and you're planning to take it in the later part of January or beyond February, you need to know about the changes that are coming down the pipeline. Now there is a date on this page of January 22nd, but it says 2023. In actuality, the changes are in effect January 22nd, 2024. So this is a typo. Now what we can do to examine the changes is we can go into the study guide. Now the study guide, if I click it here, it does have this January 22nd, 2024 date on it. I'm gonna look at the change log. Now the change log is going to tell us at a glance which sections of this exam have changes. And we can see that there's a few of them in the beginning parts of this exam. So none of the percentages have changed. So out of these five major objectives, they're all of the same percentage. We are gonna see some changes in the web app section, as well as functions. We're gonna see changes in blob storage. And the, those three things are listed as minor. So let's look at these categories side by side. And then we can kind of see exactly what's changing in web apps, functions, and blob storage. All right, so this is the skills measured prior to January 22nd and skills measured as of January 22nd, before and after. So we know that we're going to be looking for the first set of changes within Azure uh, App Service web apps. So we're going to scroll down side by side here. Now we can see that it has pretty much the same objectives. What they've done is renamed Secure Sockets Layer to Transport Layer Security TLS. And that's the more formal name for SSL. So the TLS is the level of security, the Transport Layer Security Protocol that is supported by an HTTPS secure certificate type setting. So really nothing changed other than renaming SSL to TLS. If we look at the functions, which was the other thing, instead of calling it a function app singular, it says functions app. So really no changes within the functions. And finally, if we go into the blob storage section, we can see again, same number of sub-objectives. This one calls it static site. And this one calls it a static website. So really no changes as well. So good news is that on the AZ-204, there's almost absolutely no change in terms of new objectives or objectives being removed or any changes when it comes to this exam, just the naming of something such as uh, SSL. All right. So I do want to wish you a happy new year. This is the beginning of January when I'm recording this. And so thank you so much for watching this video. Happy new year. I do have a course on AZ-204. So if you haven't started studying yet and you're interested in getting your developer certification for Microsoft Azure, go check out my course on Udemy on the AZ-204 exam. And I'll take you through all of the requirements of the exam, video by video and section by section, so that you can be fully prepared for this exam when you're ready to take it. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I do hope you have a great 2024. And I thank you so much for being here and I look forward to talking to you again.